So we constantly produce a lot of data. For example, via social media, public transport and GPS. But it goes way beyond that. Daily, we upload 55 million pictures, 340 million tweets and 1 billion documents. In total, we produce 2.5 quintillion bytes a day. That's a lot of zeros. It's ridiculous. We call this big data. But what's actually more important is what you can do with it. To process big data, you don't need huge computers. People work with the cloud, an endless network of normal servers, and powerful algorithms. This way, they can analyze over a million pieces of data in minutes. And the result? Well, for example, video streaming website Netflix analyzed the big data of their viewers, like popular shows and watching patterns. This way, they produced a successful series with the perfect combination of actors, directors and storyline. Right now, the big data of traffic is being analyzed to develop a car that can drive completely accident-free all by itself. And in the future, we can even use the big data of DNA to determine the perfect treatment. This way, curing genetic diseases like cancer would become much easier. And that's just the start.